What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty back with another banger. Yo, so today, right, we're about to go in. We're about to go in. Can simps, right? Can simps become successful forex traders? That's a crazy ass topic. So let's talk about that simp mentality. Alright. Now what's a simp? Obviously, it's a guy, you know, he's kind of like a beta male. Um, not as confident right not as aggressive not as focused to go get his goals right and then if he was to accomplish just a little bit of something you know his simping mentality will allow him to you know let females and women come in his life and just run all over him okay and you know this mentality this personality you bring that shit into forex and you start getting worked you know you can't simps become shit anything other than simps you have to learn you know how not to simp you got a lot of you got a lot of soft people in this forex industry. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of traders. If you look at their background, they got fucking glitter and shit. You know what I'm saying? Glitter lips, glitter curtains, all type of weirdo stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just straight simple beta male shit. You know what I mean? But beyond that, beyond that fact, um, it's time to level up. It's time to get them from the fucking cojones. It's time to ah, it's time to rank up. You know what I'm saying? Attack your goals like a shark. It's time to really Realign your goals and get to that next level. That sipping mentality ain't gonna get you to the next level because you, when you see the opportunity in life, you bring that sip mentality to it. And oh, maybe, maybe it'll be here tomorrow. Maybe, maybe here comes the fucking maybe game. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get assertive with your goals. So let's talk about, you know, the ego too, right? Now, have any bid have went out there, approached the woman, and got rejected? That shouldn't do anything but make your ego stronger. Nigga, you need to go harder. It's a man who don't get rejected. Get your fucking money up. Get you a better car. Get you a better house. Work on your goals and stop chasing women. I guarantee you they'll start chasing you. You feel me? Think about it. Get into that top 10% of men. Get into the top 1% of men. Guarantee you won't be running that race no more. Start chasing your money and you'll, you'll notice, you know what I'm saying, what starts to chase you. So if you want to create a better ego for yourself, if you want to go to that next level, that simple shit, that simpism, you got to let that go. Get to the market, make your decision. Get to whatever you see a woman you want, make that decision. You know what I'm saying? Make that decision. Don't be scared. Oh, man, you know, maybe. Nigga, say what's up. Damn, sure, you fine. You know what I'm saying? Say what's up. Say something. You don't have to You don't have to come off crazy aggressive. That's you. You know what I'm saying? You can come off like that. But, hey, man, come off how you want to. Make a joke. Be, be You know, make a joke about um, something that she's wearing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got that shirt too. You could be, you could be creative with it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, simps and money. Now you notice, right? A lot of simps get their money away to these women. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, baby, I'm gonna do this for you, baby, nigga. Hey, bro, let me tell you the truth. Once she knows she can take it, uh, full advantage of you, she's gonna take full advantage of you. Super simple. You, what's this have to do with forex, nigga? Well, your broker is your woman now. Once your broker know they can take full advantage of you, they're gonna take full advantage of you, nigga. Why? Why wouldn't they? You know what I'm saying? You keep coming here every day and giving them money. Okay. Well, shit. I like this type of uh, deal. Well, keep giving me money then. That's what your broker is gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? It's time to be assertive, though. It's time to be assertive. It's time to really take control. It's time to, you know, get on your alpha shit. It's time to, when you see an opportunity, you take the opportunity. Now, not every opportunity is for you. So, you know, you're thinking of this, uh, this game like basketball now. You know, you're creating shots for yourself. You're creating opportunities for yourself. You know, you may see a woman that you like. You may see a trade that you like. And, you know, you got to wait for that. You go, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean I have to wait? I don't, I don't want to wait. Hey, man that trade opportunity isn't there yet so you have to wait for that opportunity you know what i'm saying are you are you good with being can you be a great waiter the thing is you got females right they make these men wait fucking forever just to get some pussy you know what i mean y'all will wait forever for some pussy and then when it come to forex and the marketing your success then it's oh i need it right now i need it right now like man look bro you better play the game. You feel me? You better play the uh, play the game. Now, there's a way to be an uh, alpha male, right? Uh, without being like a fucking douchebag. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be a douche about it. Uh, people do fuck with you for your personality. You know what I'm saying? Become better. Start reading more books. Oh, why do you say read books, niggas? Because you, you need to be smart so you can study, so you can be assertive, so you can have the knowledge and the know-how, right? 
so you could be able to make those sound decisions. But you come to the finance market without the know-how with that simpism shit and you expect to turn up, you feel me, with some bulls. Nigga, no, that's not how it's going to work. Just how you were timid talking to those females, you're going to be timid when it's time for you to take action and get on your goals. Timid when it's uh, time for you to really, okay, now I need to put on my boots, you feel me, and get to work. Timid when it comes to taking opportunities. You know what I'm saying? That timidity is a, is a disease. Shit. And then also, we want to talk about, you know, I keep looking back, like, you know, I got my little, my little sticky, well, not sticky, but the little drink right here. But um, also talk about different personalities too, right? Naturally, I'm a bull. I'm assertive. I'm confident um, with a little bit of arrogance. I know I'm the shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm great at what I do in multiple areas of what I do. And you have to get to the point to where you feel like you're great at what you do. And then it's not a feeling because you're working on that shit every single day. So to some people, it's arrogance. But you know what I'm saying? Shit, a lot of people will call Floyd Mayweather arrogant, but what's arrogant when you're working every single day on this particular subject or particular sport or whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, and then you excel in that shit and you become the best at it. Is it arrogance or did you work your ass off, okay? And then people still doubted you after you worked your ass off. So then for the people who doubted you, now the people who support you, they don't give a fuck because they know that's what it is. But, you know, the only people telling you to be humble, you're so, you're so arrogant is the people who you've been pissing off. Because they didn't believe in you. They didn't feel like you could get to that next level. So now it's, oh, he's arrogant. Nah, motherfucker. Nah, you didn't believe in me. So now I'm showing you this is what it is. And I'm about to talk my shit while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Why shouldn't you? You doubted me, nigga. Now I'm slamming in your face. Ah, what's up? What's up? You, you ever been on a basketball court? You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you Like the uh, nigga that shoot that ball. You ain't gonna make that shit. <laughs> Niggas be quiet. Quiet. Yeah, shit go quiet, and it's only one person talking shit. Yeah, y'all said, what's up, I'm gonna make that? I'm dropping dimes out here. What's really good? What's really good? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, is that arrogance or is it confidence coming from practicing over and over and over, putting in that work, and then boom, hitting that shot? You know what I mean? Let's get back on these simps now. Can simps become successful? Now, you know, I feel like to a certain extent, simps definitely can become successful when they change that simp off, you know what I'm saying? and um, start becoming that man, you feel me? You can become that man, start telling females no. You know what I'm saying? Like, be assertive. Oh, what a, nah, I got some shit, I got shit to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> he doesn't have tension, nigga? Handle your business, you feel me? Guarantee she gonna be like, damn, okay, I like that. Like, yeah, he can't give me attention, bro. Let me see, this This one of them, uh, them top percenters right here, man, is working on his thing, you know what I'm saying? So, be assertive, you feel me? Um, if you wanna go to that next level, Man, let me tell you, you got to get your confidence up. You have to know that you're you. Uh, you may be influenced by all sorts of different realities and, you know, things like that, but fuck that. You need to just become confident in who you are, assertive in who you are, and that's going to take you to that next level, especially within the foreign exchange. When I see an opportunity and I don't feel like it's the best opportunity, I wait. I'm confident enough to wait. Man, fuck that. I ain't, I ain't fucking with that right now. I'll leave that alone. Get on the game, start playing the game. Ding, 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 ding. A little alert go off. Oh, say less. Nigga. It's my opportunity for show. You feel me? That could be five hours from now. That could be I'm out, you know, handling business, out having funds, out, you feel me, bowling or some shit. And boom, oh, alert just went off. Like, damn, okay, it's time for me to work now. But do you do you do you see the process in that? That wasn't me trying to get a art the, the the chart, you know, all my time. So stop simping and start winning. Alright? Stop simping on these fucking charts. Hey, these brokers don't owe you shit. It's for you to get out here. You feel me? People want to blame, you know, you guys want to blame everybody for all your, your, your mishaps and shit. Hey, at the end of the day, I'm me. You see my hands? I'm touching my phone. You feel me? Making my decisions. You feel me? Whichever one of these phones over here, either this one or the eye, or the eye joint, the iPhone joint. You feel me? Touch one of these making decisions. You know what I'm saying? Or on the computer making decisions, but that's me. I'm one person. You, you don't see nobody else in here except me. I'm talking to you. You know what I mean? So that's the only person I could control. And when I figured that out, I'm like, fuck it. That's, I mean, simp. All right, so in wrapping up, right? In wrapping up, can simps once again become successful forex traders? Once you get the confidence, you can become a successful anything. Okay? 
you have to grow. You have to take more opportunities. When you see that woman out there, take the opportunity. When you see that trade, if it's the opportunity that you're looking for, take that shit. Oh, man, you know, I want to make a little more money. Okay, take a bigger risk. Take a bigger risk. Simple. Make sure that you're trading with money that you can afford to lose because you're going to take some L's in here. And if you're trading with money that you're not really, you know, all oh, the same, I'll build money, then, I mean, shit, then you're going to be solid. You ain't going to worry lose, uh, worry about losing that $100, a little 200 off of one lot. You know what I'm saying? One, 150 off of one lot. You feel me? And then your potential gain, if you're doing a one to three, one to four, you're risking $100, risking $150 to make 400 You know what I'm saying? That's good business right there. All right? But it's your boy, Ty, and I'm out this bitch. Peace!